Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will explain how to configure Session Manager 6.1 Video Call Admission Control, otherwise known as Video CAC. The first thing to realize about configuring CAC for video in Session Manager is that all of your configuration is going to be done through the System Manager interface. And you can see I have here the System Manager 6.2 main menu. Now, System Manager 6.2 and 6.1 are really the configuration, at least, for video CAC is basically the same. So the same screens apply in both instances. And we'll be going to two places to configure video CAC within System Manager for Session Manager. The first is under the Session Manager menu option, which is where we'll configure the global CAC settings for Session Manager. And then the second is under the Routing option where we configure CAC for each of the individual locations. So let's get started configuring Video CAC. As I mentioned, we'll start by configuring the global CAC settings for Session Manager. And that's done under the Session Manager menu option there, under the Elements menu from the main menu. As we open that menu option, we get the Session Manager dashboard that appears for us. And what we actually want to do is go to the Session Manager Administration menu option there on the left. And that's under the Session Manager menu. And as you can see, we have our global Session Manager settings available to us here. Now the one that specifically controls whether CAC is enabled or disabled is the item that says Ignore SDP for Call Admission Control. If this item is checked, then you will not be able to use Video Call Admission Control with Session Manager. Now by default, it is unchecked as you see here, which is good because in our case, we do want to use and configure Video Call Admission Control. So we'll leave this setting as is. As always, it's good to come here and verify that this is configured properly for your environment. If we did need to change it, we would not only check the box, but then we would also save the global settings using the button at the top of the screen there. We're back to the main menu now. And what we want to do, since we've configured the global settings for CAC, what we want to do now is configure the individual locations and their individual call admission control settings. For that, we click on the routing menu option under elements. That presents us with the network routing policy screen here that we see. And we want to actually go under the locations menu option on the left there. So we'll go ahead and click that. That opens a list of all the locations we have configured in System Manager and Session Manager. As you can see, I only have one, but you do need to configure these settings for each location you have administered and, of course, that you want to use Video CAC. So we'll go ahead and click on our Westminster location. That will open up for us the list of settings that apply for call admission control. And as you can see, there are really two categories here that we're going to be dealing with two categories of settings. We have the overall managed bandwidth and then we have the per call bandwidth parameters. Now as you look at this form or this page you'll see the term multimedia used various times and what you can do is at least mentally replace that term multimedia with the term video because essentially whatever you're defining for multimedia calls applies specifically for video calls. Let's go ahead and talk about the overall managed bandwidth category that's listed here. This category basically allows you to define the total amount of bandwidth that Session Manager will allow to pass through any specific location. As you can see, the first thing you do is define the units for the following settings. And currently I have it set to megabits per second, but you can set it to whatever you want. Now, the next setting there is the total amount of bandwidth that Session Manager will allow in this location at any one time. So we'll go ahead and set that to something fairly high, like one gigabit. And then the next setting is the multimedia bandwidth, which again is really the video bandwidth that Session Manager will allow in that location at any one time. So you can see we'll set that to something like 100 megabits per second, which is a fairly low setting but it allows you to limit the number of video calls that would exist in that location simultaneously. 
Now under per call bandwidth parameters, we have two important fields here that apply specifically to video calls. The first is the maximum multimedia bandwidth for intralocation calls. This field allows you to define the amount of bandwidth, the maximum amount of bandwidth that can be allocated to calls placed between video units in the same location. So if I have two video units in the Westminster location and they call each other, the maximum amount of bandwidth that can be used for that call is 2048K. Next you see the interlocation field and the interlocation defines the amount of bandwidth or the maximum bandwidth that can be allocated to a call from my Westminster location to any other external location assuming I had one administered. Unfortunately, there are really no more granular settings within Session Manager or System Manager to enable you to define interlocation bandwidth settings between this location and specific other locations. It's really just all other locations that are considered there. The next field that we'll consider is the minimum multimedia bandwidth setting. And this field has no direct impact on the maximum multimedia or video bandwidth settings that we talked about just a moment ago. This field rather allows Session Manager to assign a minimum bandwidth allocation for video calls within the network as they pass through Session Manager. So in our case, what we're saying is that each video call that passes through Session Manager must take at least 100 kilobits. So let's do a little bit of math here to determine the maximum number of high definition video calls that we could put place simultaneously in this location. We defined the total amount of multimedia bandwidth or video bandwidth that would be made available in, the, in this location as 100 megabits per second. Additionally, we defined that each video call can take a maximum of two megabits or 2048 kilobits per second of bandwidth, which essentially means that we could place 50 high definition video calls at that maximum amount of bandwidth simultaneously within this Westminster location. The 51st call would actually have its bandwidth denied by Session Manager because there would be no additional bandwidth available for video calls within this location. That's really all there is to configuring video call admission control for Session Manager using System Manager. At this point, if we made some changes that we wanted to save, we would simply commit those changes and then perhaps wait two or three minutes for the System Manager to sync this data with Session Manager. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback via email at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.